Hello everybody. Today we are doing a shootout between the Epiphone Mini Humbucker and the Seymour Duncan Antiquities 2 Antiquity 2 Humbucker. And starting right off, you might be saying to yourself, well Robert, why are you doing um, a shootout with uh, you know Epi uh, Epiphone, you know it's a uh, it's a low budget manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. Well, the reason I'm doing that is, believe it or not, the mini humbucker was invented by Epiphone. And when Gibson bought Epiphone back in 1957, and by the way, Gibson paid all of $20,000 for, for Epiphone. But when Gibson bought Epiphone in 1957, it um, inherited the intellectual property of Epiphone. And one of the things it inherited was the mini humbucker. And, and Gibson saw this sort of as a, a low-budget version uh, of their, you know, Seth Lover uh, humbucker. Smaller parts, less metal, fewer magnets, on and on and on. Now, let's fast forward a little bit. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, Gibson in 1960 decided that nobody liked Les Pauls and they weren't going to make them anymore. And, uh, and, and, and did that, and did so throughout the 60s until around 1968 when it noticed that really cool people were using Les Pauls and they decided that they were going to bring them back. Going to bring back the Les Paul because, you know, Jimmy Page is using one, better bring him back. And, and when they did that, um, they had two things going. One, they had a bunch of bodies carved out for P90s and they had a bunch of Epiphone mini humbucker pickups. Well, they put two and two together. So when you go on Reverber or, or, or to some dealer and you see that um, $10,000 1969 uh, Les Paul uh, gold top, it will have Epiphone humbuckers in it. So it just makes sense that if you're going to do a shootout, you might as well do it with the original the original pickups. Well, to start things off, what I'd like to do is uh, briefly just show you how some of the other humbucking pickups that I, I currently own sound in the test amp that we're going to use today. And this is a, uh, a little 10 watt um, single preamp tube, single power tube, single ended class A, it's, it's not a push-pull amp, it's about as basic as you can get. Um, let's start off by hearing what the different pickups that I have sound like in this amp. Thank you. 
excellent. Um, I've already done the swap. You may notice I'm missing my little cap here. Epiphone, for some reason, uses parts that are all just a bit tinier than what you would find in a Gibson. So I had to, when I replaced the pickups, I went ahead and replaced uh, this switch, but I am missing its little fancy um, toggle. So a couple of things right off the bat. The Epiphone humbuckers, or mini humbuckers that were in here, uh, both were potted. They were wax potted. I could see that. Uh, they both had a resistance of 6.5K. And um, these are unpotted, the, the Seymour Duncans. And uh, the bridge pickup is 7.7K. And uh, the next neck pickup is 6.6K. So the neck slightly, probably a bit slightly hotter, the, the bridge uh, definitely a bit hotter. So I've got my workstation all set up and I am ready to go. Thought I would do a little bit of a time lapse thing right here. Little did I realize I forgot to lock Doby up. So he's going to help me as I get started. Uh, you can see I do a top wrap. That's a little bit uh, a little bit more time consuming. I've just noticed that my locking tailpiece isn't locked. And I'm just having a good time here. Uh, this is the first time I've dug into the electronics. I have no idea what's in here. Um, you know, I don't know what Epiphone did. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm, I'm horrified. I'm actually horrified now. I, I can't believe what I see. Uh, that's just going to have to go. Luckily for me, I had a set of uh, CTS pots sitting around, the exact values that I needed, identical values. I don't think it'll change the test any uh, because I have the volume and the tone all the way up. So a 500K resistor is a 500K resistor. I just want to change them out, uh, you know, because I want some quality parts in there. Taking a picture of it. There it is. That's my handiwork. Uh, probably doesn't look the best, but that's some serious, um, you know, that's some serious wire. Everything's really grounded very well. And going back in and finishing all that up. I learned that, um, yeah, yeah, some of the things I replaced just, just didn't fit the way I thought it would. Like I said, uh, at, you know, Epiphone, um, it just looks like everything they use is just slightly smaller not none of it's standard so when you dig into these things um you know you've got to be prepared to order you know some new parts to make it all work um, you can see me here i'm stuffing in uh, the pickups um, i've got to say i really like the, the 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 shielding that seymour duncan used i was really impressed with it
take a listen, use your ears, leave a comment, tell me what you think.